Hello and welcome to a video presentation on combining like terms. Here's what you'll learn. How to identify and combine like terms. Now before we begin let's define a few key words. The word variable. A variable is just a letter that represents a number whose value can change or vary. The word coefficient. A coefficient is a number multiplied by a variable. And in the algebraic expression above, 13b, 13 is the coefficient. It's the number being multiplied by the variable b. Now, please note, if you don't see a number in front of a variable, its coefficient is always a 1. So b, written by itself, is the same as 1b. And in algebra, you will very rarely see this one displayed in front of a variable. Let's identify the coefficients in the following terms. 3n. Coefficients are the numbers in front of the letter. So the coefficient is 3. 4.7y. The coefficient is 4.7. Yes, coefficients can be decimals. 9d to the fifth power. The coefficient is 9. x to the second power. Now remember, if you don't see a number in front of a letter or a variable, it's always going to be a 1. So the coefficient of this term is 1. 2 fifths k. The number in front of k happens to be a fraction, but that's a number. So the coefficient for this term is 2 fifths. Finally, m divided by 7. Now the coefficient may be hard to see in this case, so I'm going to write it in a different way. We know that m can also be written as 1m divided by 7. Now I can break the numbers away from the letter, and I can write 1 over 7 times the letter m. And now it's easy to see the coefficient is 1 7th. What is a term? Well, a term is a number, like 4, a variable, like the letter C, or any combination of numbers and variables, like 9y, or 3 divided by r. Terms in expressions or equations are separated by addition or subtraction signs. So the expression above has four terms. What are like terms? Well, like terms are terms in a mathematical expression or equation that have the same variable or letter, like f, raised to the same power or exponent, like 4. So if we're analyzing an algebraic expression containing a term with f to the fourth power, we could combine it with other terms having an f to the fourth power in the same expression. You see, combining like terms is a way to simplify a mathematical expression or equation. Now let's identify like terms in the list below. In other words, what terms could you combine if an addition or subtraction sign were placed between them? Remember, we can only combine like terms or terms that have the same variable raised to the same power. Let's start with the first term, y. Remember we said if you don't see a number in front of a variable, it's a 1? Well, the same thing applies to exponents. If you don't see an exponent on a variable, it's also a 1. So we're looking for any other terms in this list with y raised to the first power. The next term is an x, so that won't work. The next term is y, but it's raised to the second power, so it's not a like term either. Then there's a k, a j, another k term, an x term, and another y term, but again, raised to the second power. So there are no other terms in this list that could combine with y to the first power. So now let's look at the second term, 45x. Are there any other x terms raised to the first power? The next number is a y term, a k term, a j term, another k term, ah, an x to the first power. So we could combine 45x and this term 8.6x. So let's identify those like terms with a red square. 
and look at the last term. It's a y term, so it's not a like term either. Let's look at the third term, 2y to the second power. Are there any other y terms raised to the second power? Well, there's a k term, a j, another k, and the very last term is y raised to the second power. So yes, we could combine 2y to the second and 3 eighths y to the second. So let's identify those like terms with a blue circle. And let's look at the fourth term, k divided by 7. Are there any other k terms raised to the first power? Well, that's a j term, so that won't work. But there's another k to the first, so we could combine k divided by 7 with 45k. So let's identify those like terms with a green diamond. There you have it. We have now successfully identified all terms in this list that could be combined if we were to put addition or subtraction signs between those terms. 45x and 8.6x could be combined. 2y to the second and 3 eighths y to the second could be combined. And finally, k divided by 7 and 45k could be combined. Let's combine like terms in the following expression. 5c plus 9c. Both terms have c to the first power, so we know they can be combined. And once you identify like terms, we just start working with the coefficients. The coefficient of the first term is a 5. The coefficient of the second term is a 9. And we're told that we're going to add them together. So 5 plus 9 is 14. And combining the terms gives us 14c. So that's our answer. Now, once you identify like terms, another way to look at the problem is to consider the variable as some kind of an item, like apples or any other kind of item you'd prefer. Then we could say we have five apples plus nine apples. And five apples plus nine apples will give us 14 apples, or 14c. Now let's combine like terms in the following expression. Start with the first term, 8x to the third power, and look for other x to the third terms. Do you see any other x to the third terms? There's one right in the middle. We have a plus 5x to the third term, so we can combine these two terms. Remember, we just used the coefficients, now that we've identified like terms, to combine them. So we have an 8 plus a 5, and that's 13. So both terms reduce to 13x to the third, and let's write that down. 13x to the third power. Now let's cross off terms we've already combined, so we don't consider those again, and move to the next term, the 6y. Do you see any other y terms? There is one other y term, a minus 3y. So we can combine 6y with minus 3y. Remember, just use the coefficients now to combine them. So 6 minus 3 is 3. So both terms reduce to 3y, or a positive 3y. Let's add that to our expression. 13x cubed plus 3y. So cross off terms we've already combined, so we don't consider those again. And there's only one term left. Obviously, it can't be combined with another term. It's minus 2x to the second power. But we can't ignore it and just leave it hanging up there. So we're going to bring it down into our reduced expression. Now, don't forget, we have to bring down the minus sign in front of the term as well. This is a minus 2x squared, and we can't just bring it down without the minus sign. So we end up with 13x cubed plus 3y minus 2x to the second power. We cross off that last term, and we've accounted for all of our original terms. So the five-term expression we started with above reduces to the three-term expression below. Now let's combine like terms in this expression. Start with the first term, 22c to the fifth power. 
Do you see any other C to the fifth terms? No, there aren't. So let's cross that one off and move on to the next term. The next term is negative 6C or minus 6C. Are there any other C terms? Obviously not. So we're going to cross that term off the list and move on to the next term, 5A to the fifth. Since it's the last term, it can't be combined with any other term either. So cross off that term. And in this expression, the answer of combining like terms is there are no like terms to combine. Now let's write an expression for the perimeter of the rectangle below, and we'll combine like terms if possible. Perimeter is the distance around an object. So the distance around our rectangle is, let's go ahead and start on the left side with the H. It's going to be H, plus we've got a B on the bottom, plus another H on the right, plus another B on the top. Now we've gone all the way around our rectangle. And if I look at the equation, I should be able to combine like terms. I see a couple of H's, I'll mark those off, and I see two B's, and I'll mark those off. So the perimeter of this rectangle is 2H plus 2B. Congratulations! You've learned how to identify and combine like terms.